Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Funko Pop, and this time it is in the Scooby-Doo range. Of course, this is a Funko Shop exclusive, which is now sold out. Uh, this is, of course, number 631 in the Pop animation line, and this is, of course, the Scooby-Doo Werewolf, which looks really kind of cool. And this is, of course, part of the 50 Years of Scooby-Doo line that they did. There's the sign. There's the top. There's, of course, the back with all the other Scooby-Doo pops in this line. Of course, we've got Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Ghost Clown, Spooky Space Kook, Phantom Shadow, and Witch Doctor. Now, there's, of course, three Funko Shop exclusives so far. Of course, Werewolf, Captain Cutler, and Scrappy-Doo. I did not get Captain Cutler, nor did I get Scrappy-Doo, but I did get the Werewolf. Let's, so, let's open it up. I don't think it out. Oh, there we go. Of course, here is the Funko Pop out of the box. And they did a really good job on the paint of this figure. The green is very vibrant. I think it definitely captures how the werewolf looked in the TV show. And it just really stands out when you look at it. Definitely on, like, a shelf. It really looks really cool. Now, of course, he has, of course, red eyes, which are really painted very well. They do not bleed onto the green, which I really do like. He is, of course, have... Some eyebrows right there. And of course you can see his little werewolf teeth right there. And his hands are really kind of cool. How he has one that is like ready to attack you and one down by the side. His feet are also in the green look. You can kind of see the sharp toes on there. And of course the ears. You got the werewolf ears right there. Which look really cool. And of course the hair. It They definitely did a good job with the hair on this. Definitely looks just like it did on the TV show. And, of course, the outfit. Of course, he's wearing this kind of blue type of jacket. And he has kind of a kind of a brownish shirt and a brownish pair of pants. And, of course, the, pant, the pants kind of torn a little bit at the end. And, of course, the jacket is a little bit ripped throughout it. So, yeah, there's a quick little look at the pop. I really think Funko did a really good job with this figure. It definitely screams the werewolf from Scooby-Doo. And I really like the vibrant colors on it. I really do think that Funko did a really good job. And it's definitely a really good exclusive. And I can definitely say I would really like to see more Scooby-Doo villains in the near future. Because this pop definitely and all the other ones look really good. They just look like they took them from the world of Scooby-Doo and turned them into a pop. And they did a really good job at them. So that is it for tonight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of the Scooby-Doo Funko Pop of the Werewolf. So if you have this figure, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.